Um, my melanoma journey started when I was 38 weeks pregnant. I'd been worried about a spot on my face, which was here uh, for quite a few years. I'd had it checked several times in the past and it hadn't been a concern, but I was still worried about it. I'd noticed it had been changing. So I went along to the doctors and um, I took one look at the dermatologist and I knew that the biopsy probably wasn't going to come back great. Um, and a few days later he told me I had malignant melanoma and I was going to need a rotational flap surgery across my face with a large section cut out. Um, it was pretty scary. When I met with my surgeon at Westmead Cancer Clinic, he discussed getting me into surgery that week, um, but that would require knocking me out. And with that, there was a great risk of me going into labour on the operating theatre and waking up with my baby. Um, that wasn't something that I really wanted, so thankfully we were able to come up with a plan that meant I would go to my due date, um, be induced if I hadn't gone into labour, and then pretty much go straight in to have the surgery done. Um, within a week so I was lucky that he came early so I got a little bit of t more time with him before I needed to go in to have surgery but it was pretty scary especially you're breastfeeding at the time you have to fast for the surgery you're away from your baby you've got all these fears running through your mind. Since being diagnosed with malignant melanoma I've had another three babies I've now got four beautiful healthy kids. My hope is that from my melanoma journey that my children will grow up with the knowledge of how to protect their skin in the sun, how dangerous the sun can be, and that they'll never have to go through what I've been through and the fear of having had malignant melanoma. I'm really excited to be working with an organisation like Brightside um, that's so supportive of a cause that's so close to my heart um, and partnering with the Melanoma March in 2018. We sadly lost a colleague to melanoma and it's a great way for us to educate the public about the risks of melanoma as well as honouring her memory.